So let's take a closer look at the top five oversized monoblock chairs. First you have this really curved chair. This chair was made by a company called Resin Form in the early 1990s. It's kind of like a sling chair except it's plastic. You got these which would be the sling rails on a sling chair. You got these which would be steel or aluminum on a sling chair. It's thin back slats that are flexible and it has slats on the seat like that. It's got a waterfall front edge, plenty of holes for drainage. It's got tubular front legs, but instead of going to the back, actually they do go to the back, but they don't just go to the back, they go all the way to the rear legs like that. And it has a support piece going across the back legs like that. Yeah, normally the rear legs would be right here, but this arm just continues like that right into the back leg. Let's carefully flip this vintage chair over and have a closer look at it. There you can see the ribbing on the back. You can see how that's a lot bigger and thicker there. And that rib. You can see how the back leg is mounted on it. There's where the plastic float into the mold. And here's how the leg design is. It has a strip right here to reinforce it. Or should I say rib? That's not a strip, that's a rib. Yeah, there's the underside. It's just got a square slat like that. There you can see where the front legs join onto it. The waterfall front edge. You can see where it was pushed on the mold. And what does this chair say? Yeah, this chair says 1 1992 on it. So this is old. This is a 30 year old chair. To be honest, this is the only chair I've ever seen like this. I haven't actually seen other ones. I've never seen other ones like this. I have this one and this is the only one I ever saw. This actually came from my aunt's house. Next we have the Adams Big Easy Rocking Chair. It's kind of like the same design as the resin form chair, except it's got rockers on it. It's got some wide back slats for comfort, a nice hole for drainage. It's actually curved on the seat to be more comfortable. You've got that support in the front, which the support isn't very thick. It's just like your basic rocking chair design, except it's plastic. So let's flip it over and have a look at the other side. Yeah, this chair is really difficult to flip over. I don't want to damage it. Even though this chair is new and they still make these. Yeah, these chairs were like 40 bucks a piece. There's the bottom design. There's that support for the back leg. There you can see those pieces on the inside the legs like that. And there's the ribbing on the bottom, the hole for drainage. There's all the ribbing on the back. It gets smaller as the chair gets higher. Yeah, there's the ribbing under the seat. Actually, this chair is three pieces. It has these inserts, which I'm not sure they really do anything. So anyway, there's the Adams Big Easy Rocking Chair. Yeah, this chair was brand new in 2015, I think it was. They started making it. Now it's like a number one seller. And next we have the Adams Big Easy Adirondack Chair. It's kind of like the real comfort Adirondack Chair, except it's more of an upright design. It has the same lumbar support that the Adams original Adirondack chair had. The first thing you're going to see is this chair is pretty goodly oversized. And then the next thing you're going to see is it's the only chair that actually comes with a cup holder. And as one of my viewers put it, it's the big boy chair. And according to Adams, they're saying this is probably the best plastic chair ever made. So let's take a closer look at it. Let's flip it over and look at the underside. Man, there's too much crap here on the floor. There's the ribbing on the back. You can see how the cup holder is on there. There's the ribbing under the seat. Yeah, it's got extra ribbing and everything down there. Look at the size of these rubber feet. Those are real rubber feet. Yeah, they really did their homework on this chair. So next we have the US Leisure Big and Tall. It says more comfort, more room, more durable than ever. Holds 350 pounds. Yeah, this was one of the original oversized chairs. And now Adams is like the number one producer of these. Yeah, this chair was made by US Leisure. First thing you're going to see is that this is a very big chair. It's got kind of a weave pattern on the back. That's not a really good hole for drainage. It's got a curved seat. It's got the same kind of pattern on the seat that it does on the back. Yeah, very thick, sturdy legs, really wide arms. Goes with the whole way around. Kind of a traditional monoblock design. So let's flip this chair over and have a closer look at it. 
Yeah, there you can see the back of it where the plastic flowed into the mold. Not as much ribbing on the bottom of this chair as I think should have been. Yeah, there's the little rubber feet. Legs are a little bit flexible. Yeah, not as much ribbing on the bottom of this chair as I would have expected. I will say this, that ribbing is kind of thick. Yeah, this chair is dated 2014, so I got this before I got the rocking chair. And last, we have this Pro Garden Bench. It's kind of like a plastic chair that's about three times longer than it should be. Same armrest, same back design, same everything, same seat and legs. Just a little bit more reinforced. You have your slats on the back, you have some lines on the seat to make it look more aesthetic. So let's take this chair, or should I say bench, and flip it over and have a look at the underside. Okay, look at all that ribbing on the back. This is a very, very heavy piece of plastic. I don't want to damage it, although it is chalked. You can damage it if you want. Yeah, there's all the ribbing on the bottom. Look at all those ribs. Look at all that detail. Yeah, it's missing all the rubber feet. I mean, look at all that detail in that ribbon. Somebody put a lot of thought into that. If you do sit in the middle of this bench on a slick, smooth surface, it will... What's the word? It will sprawl the legs a little bit. But this thing is really heavy. It's been exposed to the weather a little too much. It's pretty chalked. So anyway, there's a closer look at the top five oversized monoblock chairs. Well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Remember, always be comfortable.